Where is that whiny little whistleblower? You know, Perry, checking your watch isn't going to make him show up. He has to. This story's my ticket to the network. Yeah, well, maybe your source isn't all that interested in your career. Report of assault alarm, Buckwood and 117th. Any units in the area? We're three blocks away. Maybe we can get lucky and catch a breakup before the cops do. Yeah. He blew you off, Perry. I can't believe it. Yeah, he blew you off, just like the man did. Out in three minutes. The weapons are in the storage to the right. I followed them, John. Be careful. guys get away and not a cop in sight don't they listen to their own scanners who cares these put no other tv crews i gotta change the batteries it's you you're real get that camera working wait Madison. i want to talk to you wait I heard things way too fast. Wait, you lost them? Get out there and watch the roof. Quick, move it. I don't see anything. Coats, over there, camera left. <gasps> you guard that camera with your life. You got both our careers in there. You got that. is brought to you by the U.S. Navy. Today's Navy high-tech training. This is the KOPC Action News Special Report. Here is Spencer Perry live in the Clackamas District. Good evening. Just an hour ago, as some kind of burglary took place at this location, I had a close encounter with the mysterious Port Columbia Vigilante, now being referred to as the Mantis. What the Mantis' role in this crime was, I cannot say, but I can tell you that tonight, with your own eyes, you will see absolute proof that he exists. 
Watch the left corner of your screen. I know the picture is pretty grainy, but watch this. From one building to the next is 34 feet, 7 inches. If you check your record book, Carl Lewis hasn't even jumped 30 feet. Stonebreak, he just set a new world record. Think he'll give me his autograph? You quite finished? Judging from what I just saw, we're just getting started. Doc, you just interrupted regular programming. I, I, I think we need a publicist. We have a serious problem, Miles. If anyone doubted the existence of the Mantis, they don't now. It doesn't matter. The more criminals know of the Mantis, the more they'll fear him. Let's get the exoskeleton off you now. Not yet. Don't do this, Miles. Power down. The exoskeleton took the bullet for you, and I have to repair it. What's the deal with him? Tell me how you're feeling. We were right. Fox's people were after the guidance hardware for the intercept weapons. Yeah, but you nailed them, Doc. Yes, and they almost also nailed you, too. <laughs> I'm getting used to it. We have to deal with our situation. Why? The police still see the Mantis as the enemy, and so do criminals. Nothing's changed. This is the second and the last time that insect screws up my business! Do you understand, Tori? Of course. You've got a bug problem. You need an exterminator. On the other hand, it might be much more lucrative and interesting to take it alive, see what makes him tick. Setting that kind of a little trap could cost you some serious money. Less than it cost me tonight. As long as that thing is out there, it's costing me a fortune. My buyers in the Middle East need those weapons. Fortunately, I'm a man who can see problems as opportunities. So who do you want to use? Take our team off Blue Diamond, put him on the Mantis, and tell our esteemed leader that I want that thing alive. This is a finesse job. Alive? What are you going to do, sell him? Hmm, perhaps. Somewhere far away from Port Columbia. But first, I want to get a good look at it. I assume our frozen perp from the warehouse job is thawed out by now. Well, he's thawed out all right, but his mouth may as well still be frozen. He's not talking? Not a syllable. Something or someone's got him very scared. Great. Well, the heat's coming down from the top. The chief wants a word with us. The chief? Why? Somebody finally got a video on this Manus thing. And that's all they got, Captain. It's just another lead we're checking out. Yeah, well, we won't be the only ones. Listen up. No, I'm not... I want you all to meet Raymond Geary. Agent Geary is with the Central Investigation Corps. He can tell you why he's here. Thank you, Chief Gray. Basically, Washington's taken a very keen interest in your Port Columbia vigilante. The concern is that he, she, it, may represent a sophisticated form of technology which isn't ours. And if it's not ours, then it follows it must be theirs. Theirs as in who? Doesn't matter, does it? It's operating in our country. We have a right to know about it. For starters, have we gotten the raw tape on this latest incident? I called the reporter. He won't give it up. Claims his tape is protected same as the reporter's notes. Maybe I can negotiate with him. I'd like Special Investigations to cooperate with Agent Geary. Open your files up. Let him look around. Sir, we've been operating under the assumption this is a local act of vigilantism, subject to local enforcement. I'm sure Agent Geary uh, knows how to initiate his own investigation. I'm not sure he's made a case for leapfrogging over ours. I don't think we need to get to the turf war here, Cap. Let's put it this way. You want to know who's behind the Mantis, and we want the goodies. You can make the bust and file the charges right here in Port Columbia. We'll help you analyze the evidence. That sounds fair enough for me. You'll provide full cooperation. You'll need a liaison, sir. I'd like to suggest that I be assigned. That won't be necessary. It's her investigation. I'm sure she can be a real help. Welcome aboard, Lieutenant. Give me a few minutes with Chief Grant, and you can fill me in on where we are. Thanks. Stop 
self-preservation. I don't care whether you spell it CIA, FBI, or CIC. Feds always spell trouble. And while they're keeping an eye on us, I want somebody I trust keeping an eye on them. Understand? Yes, sir. Oh, Maxwell, while you're out there, try to remember who's signing your paycheck. So, how can I help? I'm not really sure you can, Dr. Hawkins. From what Lieutenant Maxwell's told me, you've been on the team for a while now, and you've come up with nothing. That's not exactly what I meant. Well, then let's give him another chance. What do you make of the videotape everyone's talking about? It's difficult to make a judgment. I've only seen what's been on the news. Me too. But my people are analyzing it to find waveform interference around that creature. I find that, I've got an electronic fingerprint to track the mantis down. And if you do find him, then what? That's on a need-to-know basis, Doctor, and frankly, you don't need to know. I understand. So, do I get the tour? Oh, I'm sorry. The work we do here is classified. And also on a need-to-know basis. I've got government top security clearance. Good enough? No. You would need Hawkins top security clearance. And you don't have that. Well, then maybe you can provide me with the spectrum analysis for the paralytic darts, if you don't mind. Of course. That man has been a big help. Why are you pushing him like that? Lieutenant, high-level CIC training involves getting inside a man's head. You find the itch before he scratches it. It's how you stay alive. You did all that just to provoke a reaction. And right now, I know more about Miles Hawkins than you do, I bet. Good evening, Mr. Geary. Good evening, Dr. Hawkins. What are you doing here? I guess you could call it a little getting to know you chat. I call it breaking and entering. Well, now, in order to break and enter, I'd have to be here. And frankly, that's something you may not want to prove. I took the liberty of disabling your surveillance camera and motion detector. Yes, I know. However, I should point out that there is a wireless camera system recording this entire conversation. Next time, use the doorbell. I figured you'd have a backup system. But then I thought to myself, I don't think he's going to want to replay the tape of this conversation to anyone. What's on your mind? Yes, let's not play any more games. There's something not right about you, Hawkins. That much I know. I was shot in the back. Is that not right enough for you? Well, admittedly, that is good motivation. Motivation for what? For backing the mantis. I mean, let's face it. Whoever's behind that creature has a lot of money, like you, and access to all types of technology, like you, and a lot of anger, like you. Well, you've certainly given this a lot of thought. The training. I see you're reading criminology. That's an odd topic for a brilliant physicist. Our talk is over. Yes, of course. Well, I'll show myself out. Hmm. I'd have thought you'd have something a little more modern. I know. Don't tell me I look like something off the late show. So no remarks, please. What's up? Something terrible happened? That damn CIC man was in my house. In your house? In my study, where I live. This isn't good, is it? Oh. He knows. He knows. But the mantis? He couldn't possibly. No. But somehow, some way, he knows I'm tied to the mantis. He has a taste, John. Well, look. <sighs> we could destroy the records equipment, the exoskeleton, chrysalid, 
everything, and when this man Geary comes looking, there will be nothing for him to find. I have the resources to move our lab anywhere in the world. The Mantis can move on, go someplace else. We're talking about you, Miles. While Miles Hawkins can contribute grace, wisdom, genius, things which will enhance all our lives, the Mantis can merely clean up other people's messes, one mess at a time. You don't need the Mantis. But other people do need the Mantis, and the Mantis requires me. There'll always be another Geary. But there's only one Mantis, and I'm not about to let him die. He was never born. He's not a man. He can't die. Maybe he can, John. Maybe he can. I've got the tape you sent over, Lieutenant Maxwell. The Beta Master field tape. Looks authentic. We'll check it out. So did that reporter decide the First Amendment was overrated or what? All I know is the messenger dropped it on my desk. No note. No address, nothing but the unedited tape. Maybe a copy's already been sold to a current affair. Every bill of rights has its price. Coming at you. Now, this is the way form interference around the image I was talking about. Your electronic fingerprint. Right, isolated. Huh. Now this is interesting. It's not RF transmission. It's electromagnetic resonance. This man's all juiced up. Assuming you isolate the signal, what can you do about it? Getting any kind of a signal from electromagnetic resonance is pretty iffy. <clears throat> no, we're gonna need something a lot stronger. Whoa, whoa, stop it. Back it up a few seconds. As slow as it goes, right? There. Good eye. Somebody was there in the alley that night. Do your magic. Some kind of logo. Brand names are so important. Look, I, yeah, I already told you, this is just not a very clear print. Could you try again, please? <sighs> hey, Mom, this could be oh, anything. Mom. Yes, this is Mom. Go, Dr. Cool. Get there in a hurry now. Mom? Well, we all got our handles. Right, now, back to the photo. Is that an Iron Horse Courier logo in the corner? Well, sure. I mean, if it was right side up, but, you know, then again, I know people who look at a mud splatter and think they see the face of Elvis, so... Yeah, this is Mom. Roger that. West Garfield, get there now. Hurry up. Listen, if something is up with one of my kids, I want to know about it. Is there any way other than working here that someone could get hold of one of these armbands? <laughs> well, I don't know why anybody would want to do that. I mean, they're not exactly a fashion statement. We would like a current roster of employees and any bank records you might have. Don't you need a warrant for that? I will get Only one. if you make us get one. Which would make me very suspicious. Uh, help yourself. Hey, Mom, it's me, Monkey Man. Over. Where have you been? Yeah, no, monkey man. What do you mean flat tire? I don't care about flat tires. Walk if you have to walk. Just get back there on time. Do it now. What is it? I think our man made a very unfortunate fashion statement. much faster than that thing, then I'd have to give you a ticket. Who told you where I was? John, I stopped by your office. Hmm. I've got to do my warm down. Miles, listen, uh, about the other day, I wanted to apologize for Agent Geary. He can be a little obnoxious, but that's the way he gets results. He has something on the mantis? A lead, yeah. I can't really talk about it, though. <laughs> that's a phrase you hear a lot when you hang around the so-called intelligence community. Miles, I'm not just hanging around. I'm working on a special assignment. 
And if it takes a little higher security clearance and some different methods to catch the mantis, then I'm for it. Even if it violates the rules? I haven't seen any violations. And frankly, the mantis isn't playing by the rules either. Leora, I've worked on some CIC contracts. The reason I finally stopped is because I found out they're deeply involved in all sorts of suspect operations. Gary has got every credential you could want. He was cleared by Chief Grant himself. Look, I know he's a little hard to take, but he's got his own orders. And I guess he's making this his own personal mission. What about you? Is this mantis hunt becoming your personal mission? Maybe it is. But you know what? Somebody's got to stop him. And if I need help from you or Gary or the man in the moon, I'm not afraid to ask for it. Well, if you're asking, I can tell you this much. I've gotten a complete workup on those darts. And? They're non-lethal. It is possible your mantis is actually going to some trouble not to hurt anyone. I don't think I've had the pleasure of your acquaintance. Believe me, kid. <laughs> no pleasure. How do you know the mantis? What are you talking about? I don't know the mantis. <laughs> Wrong answer. <laughs> what, do you want me to make something up? You were there that night when the mantis showed up. <laughs> Just luck. Yeah? Well, you're pushing your luck right now. All right. Uh, it's my watch. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's got a receiver transmitter in it, right? That, uh... Uplinks to the International Maritime Satellite, which continually corrects itself for, for accuracy. I'm still listening. Look, I'm, a, I'm just a tech head, man. I got all sorts of shortwave stuff, you know? But I, so one night, right, I'm, cha I'm channel surfing. And uh, I pick up on this signal that I never heard before. What kind of signal? Well, it was a weird wavelength. You know, it was faint. But it was in Port Columbia, and, and, and it was moving. I boost, you know, I isolate, I uh, guesstimate the triangulation, whatnot, and then I hop on my bike, and I just book out to where that I think that the signal's coming from, right? Well, you obviously found him. Yeah, it worked. But I don't know him, you know? I wish I did. No, that was the first time that I uh, even hooked onto him. What frequency is he on? Frequency? What, suddenly you're hard of hearing? What if I jam this in your ear? No. <laughs> All right, no. No, I... I got it right here in my wallet. Get it. Three point eight five six four gigahertz. Do you know what would happen to someone who tried to screw with me? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Good. down to the mantis's signal. Yeah, we're tracking him now. Okay, we're still getting a frequency reading of 3.8564. So he's definitely in the area. Hold your fire, Maxwell. What are you doing here? I followed your van. I'm assigned to you, remember? Oh, yes. Stay out of my way. Nesbitt, check that back door. Once we find this thing, he's all mine. He's close now. We got him. I can feel it. I'll take it from here. Why did 
didn't shoot him. He didn't resist. Well, he sure won't now. Lieutenant Maxwell, you saw this with your own two eyes. Yes, sir. What did Geary shoot him with? Looked like an M16 with a grenade launcher. And after that, your friend Geary disappeared like the Invisible Man. He works for the government. That's why you can do that. We work for the people. That's why we can't. So far, no one from the police department will Go help. get some rest. In fact, wait a minute, folks. Wait, just one minute. Maybe Lieutenant Leora Maxwell can help shed some light on what happened here last night. Lieutenant. No comment. Is it true the man is dead? Yes. Can you tell us what happened? Look, I have nothing further to say. Well, who killed him? Writing a big story, and one of your people happens to be smack in the middle of it. Now, wait a minute. You're not going to lay this on me, Solomon. You wanted Geary inside. We gave him the fake CIC cover. He got inside. These special investigations people are good cops. Of course, they're going to want to watch him. I hate good cops. Don't you? Gentlemen, today is a day for celebration, not a time to argue. I suppose you expect to be paid. One dead mantis, one million cash. That was the deal. We also made a deal that if you took him alive, you'd make three million. I know. But I had so much fun blowing him up. It was worth the loss. We'll take the cash. And how do I know he's dead? He's fish bait. You know it and I know it. Pay up, Fox. And you know what the funny thing is? I would have killed the mantis for free. You gotta tell me, I always wondered, how does it feel to be dead? Well, hey, at least I got a little cameo in the Mantis video, even though I had to be added in with special effects. Miles. Miles, you can relax now. We did it. Did what? Killed the Mantis? No, just the, the, the perfect dummy. And a little magic from the great Stone Deanie. We may as well have really done it. The second the mantis surfaces again, the hoax is exposed and we're all at risk. Well, at least we bought a little time. Huh? Yeah, you just gotta chill out a while, kick back, hang in the seat pod, wait for those guys to blow town, and boom, we're back in action. No, no, you don't understand. The gun Geary used at the pier, I recognized it. It was the same one those thieves used the other night to blow a hole in the wall. Geary is working for Solomon Box. Box will never let his people stop hunting the mantis. Well, we'll think of something. In the meantime. In the meantime, the criminals run free, and I can't do a thing about it. I can't wear the exoskeleton, and I'm not sure I can live without it. Was Box telling the truth about how much we'd make if we captured the mantis instead of killing him? Yeah, he was telling the truth. Then you just stiffed us all out of a lot of money. Think so? Oh. I detect a bit of anger in your voice, Wayne. Is that true? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. I just think we could have made a lot more money if we didn't kill the mantis. We didn't kill the mantis. What? You see, that's why I do the thinking around here, Wayne. What I shot was a dummy, a prop in a cheap parlor trick. The mantis thinks he pulled one over. I mean, that's fine. He can think that. Because now, not only do we have Box's money, 
but we can still capture the mantis and sell his technology to the highest bidder. So don't think, Wayne. I know this thing didn't go down the way we wanted, but at least the mantis is solved. Blowing a man to smithereens isn't my idea of solving anything. We're not sure what he was, but he was a criminal. No matter what he was, he deserves a fair trial. I actually talked to him, Captain. And there was something about his voice. The mantis could have been captured alive. Let it go, Max. The chief wants this case closed and some nice photo ops. I just want to know how the hell the CIC gets away with something like this. Feds, I warned you. Well, for once, maybe someone ought to do something about him. Don't even think about it. Get your hands off me. You have no idea how much trouble you're in right now. I don't care how covert your agency is. Nobody treats the American press like this. Want to bet? Now, I want to know what else you know about the Mantis. The Mantis? He's dead? Right. Now, did he digitize the tape, or did you do it for him? What tape? The tape you sent to Maxwell with the Iron Horse Courier suddenly digitized into it. You set me up. I don't know what you're talking about. You doctored it, so I'd find that kid, and he'd give me the Mantis frequency. Then the Mantis could trick me into following him and fake his own death. You're crazy. So, Geary, this is how the CIC interrogates people. We do what we have to. If you even are from CIC. Now drop the gun. Slowly. You're making a big mistake, Lieutenant. Yeah, thinking I could trust people like you. This psycho is still asking questions about Mantis. The Mantis isn't dead. What? You heard the man. Now drop your gun. Do it. Something wrong with the head gear? Just recalibrating. You can put on the exoskeleton without having to become the mantis, Miles. There's this feeling of power. Incredible power. At first, it was enough to be walking again. But now... Yes? I feel the need to use the power. It compels me... It's almost addictive. Hawkins. Good evening, Doctor. Raymond Geary here. What do you want? I would like you to get a message to your friend, the Mantis. The Mantis is dead. Now, I'm many things, Doctor, but stupid isn't one of them. So don't play games with me. You tell him I've got a proposition for him. Go on. I have a police lieutenant and a TV reporter in my custody. Now I'll be happy to release them unharmed if the Mantis will turn himself in to me. The Mantis doesn't deal with kidnappers. Fine. Then I'll shoot them. Tell him he's got an hour to decide. <laughs> You must understand, if this doesn't work, Giri will kill you. Maybe. And if the Mantis didn't exist, Giri wouldn't be hunting for him and Leora wouldn't be in any danger. This is personal, John. I've got to face him. As long as you maintain radio silence, the chrysalid's magnetic resonance will mask the tracking signal from the exoskeleton. But they'll need a target signal. Well, let's show them one. Taylor. 
If you carry the decoy signal, I can slip in undetected. Great. Call me the bullseye. Thanks. Come on, let's get you set up. Savage is on the way. Now, left on Brockton. Mantis, you're very good at following my directions. You're getting closer. Decoy plan is working. They're tracking you, Savage. All right, still my job. And then again, one more left. You're doing fine. Bring him in the rest of the way. I want to go check on some cargo. Just checking up on my favorite prisoners. Go to hell. Probably will, but at least I'll go there a very wealthy man. What the hell? What's the matter? This damn tracker, there's something the matter with it. Look who I found. I'm trying to stash his bike in the bushes just outside. And he had this attached to his handlebars. <laughs> the same frequency the Mantis gave you to track him here. Wait, you guys got it all wrong. I was locked on to the Mantis signal. And I, so I told you what would happen to anybody who tried to screw with me, didn't I? But you did it anyway, didn't you? I can't. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. It's just a decoy, which means the real thing can't be far behind. system just went bonkers. What is going on? Are you okay? Miles? Miles, answer me. What is happening? Trapped. Some kind of electrical force field. You're a monstrous looking thing up close, aren't you? I mean, don't get me wrong. I've been called a monster myself at times. But what do you think about my little bug trap? You never should have jeopardized yourself. And especially for someone as inconsequential as this kid. Trap, get us out. Us. Don't tell me he's got Savage there, too. Yes. Power third's John. Power third? That, I, that's madness. You've been a worthy adversary, my friend. I'm almost sorry it's over. Right. Power surge, it is. Miles, stand by. But as in all things in life, there must be winners, and there must be losers. All right, on three. Leap towards the electrical field. And I guess I'm the winner. One. Two. systems are crashing, my friend. Get out of there while you still can.
stay here. No problem. Behind you. Maybe we can talk to Stonebreak about making these darts do their freeze thing a little quicker. real gun battle I've ever been in. Is he dead? Yeah. Dead. Let's get out of here. Actually, I'd like a better look before you leave us. Take a very good look. You don't scare me. You lie. We all lie. You lie every time you hide behind that costume. Now, what do you want? I came to warn you. Your sickness will no longer be tolerated. Well, I consider myself warned. Now get out. You're not as tough as your press clippings. You won't kill me. You don't kill, do you? True. But you will come to wish I did. When this tough L.A. cop 